Wild Spidey Moments Part 15. Comment an interesting Spidey fact that you think others may not know. During the 2018 Vault of Spiders series, we get a glimpse into the Spider-Verse. This takes place during the event of Spider-Geddon, which is a whole other story in itself. The story goes, A long time ago entities beyond our understanding stood a threat to spiders of all kinds across. The multiverse, to combat them, an army must be assembled, the Spider Army. Here is one soldier's story. Patrick O'Hara was living as a shootist on a medicine show in the Old Wild West. He worked for a self-proclaimed scientist, Michael Morbius, who sold elixirs he learned to create from an Apache shaman. Patrick would provide the audience with a show, spouting tall tales and shooting bottles out of the sky. Dr. Morbius would convince the captive audience all these feats were only possible due to his miracle elixir. This elixir seemed to have actual powers to them, though. One day, some of their elixir splashed onto a radioactive spider who went and bit Patrick and his horse, Widow, giving them both enhanced speed and strength. Dr. Morbius attempted to drink their elixir himself as well, but the outcome was not the same. It changed him into the brilliant vampire we know today in trying to cure himself. He turned strangers into vampires to and used them to kidnap women and children to his lair. They would feed on the innocents, hoping to renew their life forces. The now superpowered Patrick O'Hara caught word of the recent kidnappings and went to investigate. On his trusty steed, readily prepared with a web blaster and pistol in hand, I know. Just go with it. Patrick at this point has assumed the identity of the web slinger, protector of the innocent in the Wild West. He follows the trail of corpses out of town and to a cave not too far off. He encounters Morbius, his vampire thralls, and the kidnapped children. A fight ensues which ends when the lanterns fall dangerously close to the vampire's lab. Morbius knew if the fire were to reach the chemicals in the lab, it would cause a huge explosion. He sacrifices himself and hopes the web-slinger can save the children. Of course, our hero makes it out with all the children in tow and our villain is presumed taken by the flames. It is unclear what exactly drives this version of Spidey, but it is certain he has the same courageous spirit and good conscience as the ones we are familiar with.